Happy Thursday and happy Halloween. I'm Chief Forecaster Dakota Hunter with your first defense forecast. And as we've been talking about all week long, gusty winds are going to be coming our way tonight, going through tomorrow. So again, the timing on this is mainly going to be 10 o'clock tonight until 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. That's the time frame for some of the strongest winds. Uh, west southwest winds about 30 to 40 miles per hour. Some wind gusts 60, maybe 65 miles per hour at times. And the strongest winds are going to be right near the Lake Erie shoreline, as often is the case. Uh, we often see the strongest winds right near the Lake Erie shoreline uh, when we have the stronger winds. So uh, the National Weather the service has up the high wind watch to a high wind warning for all of western New York. That starts tonight and goes until 1 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. And there's also a wind advisory for Warren County, PA, also starts tonight and goes until 10 p.m. tomorrow. So again, the winds will be gusty tonight going into tomorrow. And of course, uh, the weather service also upgraded that lakeshore flood watch to a lakeshore flood warning. Again, with the gusty winds, definitely some flooding, definitely likely uh, right near the Lake Erie shoreline. So here's the weather setup. We have this deep area of low pressure that's going to be tracking through the upper Great Lakes and moving up into Canada. As it does so, what's going to happen here is as it moves to our north and west, that's a prime storm track for some of the strongest winds. So the strongest winds are going to be right near the Lake Erie shoreline, as I just told you, and uh, some wind gusts 40 to 50, maybe uh, maybe 55 miles per hour in times that you work inland. So the trickle trading forecast for tonight, it is going to be wet and it is going to be breezy. But the good news is the strongest winds are going to hold off until after trickle trading time. So if you're going out 59 down to 57, again, uh, there's that south southwest wind. 15 to 25 and some gusts, maybe around 30, 35, maybe 40 miles an hour at times. Here's the future wind gusts. Now, this is one of the computer models we run in-house, and I'm actually using this model because I think out of all the models we've looked at, this might be doing the better job when it comes to trying to place the strongest winds and how strong the winds will be. So this is this afternoon around 4 o'clock, some wind gusts, maybe around 20, to 25, maybe 30 miles an hour, maybe upwards of 40 miles an hour, but still not bad. Watch what happens as we go throughout the night. This is by about uh, 2 a.m. tomorrow morning. This is when we're going to see some of the strongest wind gusts. Again, right near the Lake Erie shoreline, Dunkirk 62, Ripley 60. Some models are, um, are trying to go a little higher than this and trying to bring wind gusts near 70. I'm not buying that, but uh, I do think wind gusts a little over 60 miles an hour, definitely likely, obviously not as strong once you work inland. But again, uh, the strongest winds near the Lake Erie shoreline. This is tomorrow afternoon. The winds will start to die down through the day, but winds still about 15 to 25 miles per hour, some gusts maybe near 30 miles an hour through the afternoon tomorrow. All right, here's future scan with the rain. You can see the heavier rain starting to come in this afternoon and tonight. Some areas are going to pick up about an inch to about an inch and a half of rain today and tonight, so keep that in mind. Cold air works around the storm system as it tracks up into Canada. So look at what it shows up here. Some wet snow. Now, some indications are suggesting maybe a sticky inch coating, but I don't even think that. I think the snow might be a little too wet to stick, but this could be our first snowfall of the season. Friday morning that continues uh, throughout the morning hours on Friday, and then we'll see a few rain and snow showers throughout the day on Friday. But again, the snow will be mainly early in the morning, and if it sticks, it's going to be a coating, if anything. So 40 tomorrow, there's that high wind on Friday. Temperatures not budging from tonight to tomorrow. The high is not budging very much. 46 on Saturday. Set the clocks back one hour, too, uh, as you go to bed um, on uh, Saturday night as we end daylight savings time. And uh, the high on Sunday, well down into the 30s. That's more uh, typical of December, not... November and uh, temperatures uh, remain below average into early next week with a few rain and snow showers Tuesday and Wednesday.